In this video, we will compare the deconstruct method and the traditional method for solving a linear equation in one variable. While the methods are different, it's important to recognize that for both methods, we do perform the same operations to both sides of the equation, which result in an equivalent equation. For review, for the deconstruct method, also referred to as the story of the variable method, step one is to construct the story of the variable, step two, deconstruct the story of the variable, and then step three, apply the deconstruct story to both sides of the equation to solve the equation. Step four, check the solution. However, some issues can arise when using this method. If an equation is in the form of, let's say, this equation here, where we have five minus two x equals nine, before we apply this method, we need to write an equivalent equation with the variable term first as negative two x plus five equals nine. There's also an issue when we have variables on both sides. Before we apply this method, we would need to write an equivalent equation with the variable term on one side of the equation as shown here. For these reasons, it may be helpful to transition to a more traditional approach to solving a linear equation. So let's go through these steps as well. Using the traditional method, if the equation has decimals or fractions, one option is to multiply both sides of the equation to clear the fractions or decimals. And then step one, but normally, but normally the first step, because this step is optional, the first step is to simplify each side of the equation by clearing parentheses and combining like terms. Then add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side, and then finally, multiply or divide to isolate the variable and solve the equation. And again, check the solution. So going back to our example, let's first construct the story of the variable that creates this equation, and then we'll write the deconstruct story. Starting with the variable z, to construct the equation, we first multiply by two to get two z, then add five to the product, and then because we have a negative three here, the next step is to multiply by negative three, and then finally add three to the product, and the result is 30. For the deconstruct story, we want to undo the steps of the construction story, which means we first undo the plus three by subtracting three, and then we undo multiplying by negative three by dividing by negative three. The next step is to undo adding five by subtracting five, and then finally we undo multiplying by two by dividing by two. Let's begin by subtracting three on both sides of the equation. Simplifying both sides, three plus three is zero on the left, and 30 minus three is 27 on the right. The equation simplifies to negative three times the quantity two z plus five equals 27. The next step is to divide both sides by negative three. Simplifying, negative three divided by negative three is one. The equation simplifies to two z plus five equals 27 divided by negative three is negative nine. Next step is to undo the plus five by subtracting five on both sides. Simplifying, five minus five is zero. We now have the equation two z equals negative nine minus five is negative 14. Last step is to undo multiplying by two by dividing by two. Simplifying two divided by two is one, one times z is z. On the right, negative 14 divided by two is negative seven. Our solution is z equals negative seven. And now let's solve this equation again using a more traditional method. Again, because we don't have any fractions or decimals, the first step is to simplify both sides of the equation which means in this case, we distribute negative three to begin. So negative three times two z is negative six z. Negative three times five is negative 15, plus negative 15 is equivalent to minus 15. And we still have plus three equals 30. We can still simplify the left side of the equation by combining like terms. Negative 15 plus three is equal to negative 12. We can rewrite the left side as negative six z plus negative 12 or minus 12 equals 30. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. The variable term is negative 6z. We want to undo the minus 12 
In order to undo minus 12, we add 12 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying, negative 12 plus 12 is zero. We now have the equation negative 6z equals 42. The last step is to multiply or divide to solve for z. Negative 6z means negative 6 times z, and therefore to undo the multiplication, we divide both sides by negative 6. Negative 6 divided by negative 6 is 1. 1 times z is z. On the right, 42 divided by negative 6 is negative 7. So of course we do get the same solution using the two different methods. But again, it's important to remember for both methods, we did perform the same operation to both sides of the equation each time, creating an equivalent equation. Let's verify the solution is correct by substituting negative seven for z in the equation to make sure it satisfies the equation. Performing the substitution, we have negative three times the quantity two times negative seven plus five plus three equals 30. Simplifying the left side of the equation, we simplify inside the parentheses first. We multiply before adding. This simplifies to negative three times the quantity, negative 14 plus five plus three equals 30. Still simplifying inside the parentheses, negative 14 plus five is negative nine. We have negative three times negative nine plus three equals 30. Simplifying on the left, the next step is to multiply. Negative three times negative nine is 27. 27 plus three equals 30. 27 plus three is 30. 30 equals 30 is true. Verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.